Today we're going in search of the ultimate recipe for a seasonal and I guess spooky drink, which is called a Corpse Reviver number two. So a lot of people tout this drink as a kind of hair of the dog, morning after kind of cure, which is questionable. But it's so much more than that. It's an amazing drink. It deserves to be enjoyed at any time of year. And today we're gonna to find what I consider the best recipe for it. We're gonna be looking at old recipes, new recipes, and then when we find that ultimate combination, I'm gonna add what I consider to be an essential part of any pick-me-up cocktail, which is gonna be coffee to see if this works. And I've actually not tried this. This will be the very first time we taste it, which will be on camera. So hopefully it turns out well. You'll have to wait till the end of the video to find out. So let's make some Corpse Reviver number twos. All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new here, I'm Dan. I'm a double world coffee and good spirits champion. And this channel is all about coffee and cocktails. And this video is a perfect example of that. So we're gonna begin by talking about the cocktail. Later on, we're gonna introduce coffee, but what exactly is a Corpse Reviver number two? Essentially, Corpse Revivers are a family of drinks which are designed to be kind of hair of the dog cocktails, designed to pick you up and make you feel better after the night before, if you've had a big night before. I don't think there's much science to back this up. I don't necessarily recommend it. In fact, I definitely don't recommend it. But regardless, they're delicious drinks. And in particular, the Corpse Reviver number two is refreshing, balanced, and actually a really smart drink. So Corpse Reviver number one is kind of rich and heavy. A completely different drink for a completely different day, different video, maybe in the future. But for now, we're gonna focus on this drink. So in Harry Craddock's seminal text, the Savoy Cocktail Book from 1930, he calls for equal parts, lemon juice, quina lile, Cointreau, dry gin, with a dash of absinthe, which is often kind of spritzed over the drink. And he says, four of these taken in swift succession will unrevive the corpse again, which I definitely agree with. This is a boozy number, even though it doesn't necessarily taste like it. So today we're gonna make this drink, but there are a few things that have happened since 1930 that have really changed the drink. So still solid, we're gonna go with the absinthe, stick with the gin, going with the London dry gin, Lemon juice still exists, of course, which is gonna be our kind of acidity in there. Then we've got our sweetener, which is gonna be Cointreau. And then we've got our aromatized wine. So as I said, Harry's recipe calls for Kina Lele as your kind of aromatized wine. And Lele still exists, but Kina Lele does not. It's been long discontinued. Lele Blanc is supposedly the kind of replacement, but so I'm told it's a very different product. I wasn't alive in the 80s. If you were, let me know. We're gonna try it with this, but we're also gonna try it with an alternative, which is kind of touted as being the best modern interpretation of Kina Lele, which is gonna be Cocky Americano. So Kina Lele was meant to be quite high in quinine, quite bittersweet, whereas the Lele Blanc is much lighter, less intense, and a little bit more floral. Cocky Americano is meant to be closer to Kina Lele. So we're gonna taste it with both Lele Blanc, Cocky Americano, and then we're gonna focus on a kind of modern interpretation of the Corpse Reviver, which switches out Cointreau, switches in yellow chartreuse, and then carries on with the same formula. So to find our ultimate recipe for our Corpse Reviver number two, we're gonna make four drinks, exploring all the combinations and permutations. They're all gonna contain absinthe, they're all gonna contain gin, all gonna contain lemon juice, they're all gonna contain one of our two different liqueurs, so either Cointreau or yellow chartreuse, and they're all gonna contain either of our aromatized wines, Lele Blanc or Cocky Americano. This might sound confusing, but essentially we're gonna make every combination we can, so I'll make those now. I got lots of tins, I'm gonna get shaken. All right, these are all shaken up. We've got our four different drinks, each of which is gonna be finished with our spritz of absinthe. Some people like to do this into the glass. I like to do it on top of the drink so you get more of the aroma. So what have we got? Over here, we've got two Cointreau drinks. This one with Lele Blanc, this one with Cocky Americano, and over here we've got two yellow chartreuse drinks, this one with Lele Blanc, this one with Cocky Americano. I'm gonna get some water, gonna give these a taste. As Harry says, if you have four of these in quick succession, you'll unrevive your corpse, which I don't wanna do today. So first of all, let's try our Cointreau and Lele Blanc, which is probably the closest in terms of brand specification as the original. Absinthe on the nose, quite tart, I'd say. I'd probably get a little bit more sweetness in here, but some people like their drinks a little bit more sour. I guess if you want to pick me up, you want it to be kind of sharp and vibrant. It's really, really delicious, but let's see how the Cocky Americano compares. Oh, that's way better. More depth, more kind of 
complexity, everything kind of ties itself together really nicely. A little bit more spice in there as well, I'd say. Both are really good. This is tart, this is more balanced. And now let's move into our yellow chartreuse. First of all, with Lillet Blanc. So this is a really popular riff that came around in around about the 2000s. I can see why. It's more herbal, a little bit sweeter. It's got much heavier texture. The Lillet Blanc is pretty good in there. I don't think you get much of the vermouth coming through. So I think this one, the Cocky Americano, potentially could have a little bit more balance, but we'll see. Yeah, as expected, it's a little bit more kind of vegetal, a little bit more green. Lots of kind of herbal flavor coming through, a little bit of spice. But I think my absolute favorite of all the four is Cointreau and Cocky Americano. I just think it's the most balanced, the most complex. These are really good, but I think those chartreuse can kind of overpower everything else. Whereas this, you taste everything, get loads of aroma. And I think that, which I'll put on screen now, is my favorite Corpse Reviver number two recipe. And while my corpse is still alive, I think it's important to have some water. So, as I said before, any good pick-me-up drink for me needs to contain coffee. We're about to make that for the first time ever. So I'm gonna mix up my absolute favorite, absinthe spritz, gin, lemon juice, Cointreau, and Cocky Americano. And we're gonna combine it with equal parts, cold brew, coffee concentrate. So I'm gonna make that now. All right, this will be interesting. This is gonna be our coffee reviver number two. And we're gonna keep things the same as our ultimate recipe. So first of all, we're gonna go in 30 mils of our beef eater gin, 30 mils of our freshly squeezed lemon juice for our acidity, 30 mils of Cointreau, which proved to be the winning liqueur, which is gonna bring those really nice orange flavors and a little bit more of that boozy kick, 30 mils of our cocky Americano, which is our winning aromatized wine. And then finally, we're gonna go in with 30 mils of our magic ingredient, essential for any pick-me-up, which is gonna be cold brew coffee concentrate. So again, 30 mils, very strong, very intense. You don't need much of this. For this, I've gone with a Kenyan coffee, a wash process from my friends at Foundation. It's got those really nice kind of citric, kind of acidic notes, tying it with the lemon nicely, the gin, the Cointreau, but it's got a little bit more kind of berry-like flavor, which I think is gonna really tie everything together. So making this is really simple. One part of your ground coffee into a jar with eight parts of cold water. Leave this to steep for around about 12 hours and then pass that through a paper filter and you'll get this delicious cold brew concentrate. We're gonna shake that up with lots of ice for around about 10 to 15 seconds. Fine strain it into a frozen coupe glass. And then we're gonna finish off with two things. First of all, our absinthe spritz on top of the drink. And finally, something I think is gonna tie it together really, really nicely, which is gonna be a cocktail cherry in syrup which is just gonna bridge everything together really nicely. And there we have a drink I'm very excited to try and genuinely never have, which is gonna be the Coffee Reviver number two. So this is genuinely my first time trying this. It might be an abomination, it might be an absolute game changer. We shall see. It's the Coffee Reviver number two. Pretty good. I think it actually fills in a little space between what's already there, giving it a little bit of bitterness, which you don't really have in the drink. The coffee definitely comes through. I've done equal parts throughout the whole drink, and I think it's nicely balanced, actually. The original's got acidity, it's got sweetness, but it doesn't really have bitterness that coffee brings, and I think it fits in really nicely. So, is this an improvement on the original? That's up to you to decide. Give it a try, let me know what you think. So I really hope you've enjoyed this exploration into the Corpse Reviver number two. Have you tried this drink? If you have, let me know in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did it work as a hangover cure? I bet it didn't. And what's your favorite recipe? Is it the yellow chartreuse? Is it the Cointreau? Is it Lillet Blanc? Is it Cocky Americano? Is it something completely different? Does it change that equal parts formula? All of your thoughts on the Corpse Reviver number two, let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this and you like coffee or cocktails, make sure you subscribe and I'll put more videos for you to watch here and here and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and cheers.